Hello, welcome back to Warriors HQ. On this week's show, we have a preview of this Saturday's Guinness Pro 14 game against Cardiff Blues from within Scotston. We also have the first round of the SP Energy Network's Warriors Championship. But first, you voted Rob Harley, your McRae Financial Services Warrior of the Month for January. And we spoke to him as he was presented with his award by Murray Forbes, who won a competition through McRae to present Rob with his award on his 10th birthday. So Rob, you are the McCree Financial Services Warrior of the Month for January. How does that feel? Yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling. Very honoured. Nice that the supporters have voted you this month. Um, yeah, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that the supporters have have enjoyed the the performances um, and the pitch. And it's it's nice to it's nice to kind of be be rewarded for the play. And um, I know that I know that every time we're out of Scotston, kind of we, we hear that support and that drives us through and it's it's great to be individually recognised as well. And January of course was a very special month for you, making your two hundredth appearance for the club. Yeah, big milestone for me. Um, kind of everyone in my family, uh, girlfriend very excited about it. So um, yeah, it was it was a huge month for me and that's a it's a nice cherry in the top. We announced earlier this week that Adam Ash had signed a brand new two-year contract with the club that will see him stay at Scotland until at least 2021 and that Scotland 7 star Kyle Stain will be joining ahead of next season. They both spoke to the media at Scotland on Tuesday, as did assistant coach Kenny Murray to preview this Saturday's game against Cardiff Blues. Adam, well, many congratulations on, on the new deal. Um, glad to get it done? Yeah, really glad to, to have signed for another two years. Um, obviously been at this club for a good few years now and a uh, great place to be playing rugby. Uh, I think a, a club with a lot of ambition that's that's continuing to grow so I'm really pleased to, to be staying here for another two years. Have you seen the club evolve over that time? Uh, well massively I guess uh, when I first came into the, the club here at Warriors um, uh, you know the, the club was probably in the, the lower level of, of standard when it came to the league. Um, I think Dave's my, my third coach that I've been under here at Warriors now, yeah. um, Sean Lanine, Gregor and then Dave. So uh, I guess we've seen seen the club change a lot over the years, uh, had some really good success, had some difficult times, but I think all in all we've, we've really pushed to be some real good competitors in the league. So um, let's hope it keeps going that way. Well, how do you feel about uh, this being your home as it were? Oh, I'm very excited. So uh, yeah, I'm very excited to be here in Glasgow. Um, a little bit colder than what I'm used to, um, but yeah, people have been very welcoming, the guys have been very welcoming, so good to be here. Just tell us how the whole transition came from 7s to 15s. 7s uh, uh, coach John Diel um, puts a big emphasis on the development to a 15s programme, and so um, obviously through these Autumn and Six Nations channels, uh, guys like myself end up getting an opportunity while the boys are on international duty, so um, yeah, I've been lucky enough to get mine and very stoked about that. Did you envisage that your career could follow this sort of path at a young age, or did you always did you think you would be moving abroad, for example? Um, oh, I suppose when you're young, you just focused on playing rugby. Um, obviously, I did. I definitely had the dream of, of coming over here, hopefully, but um, it never never really seemed. Yeah, it just seemed like a long shot the whole way. So just uh, focused on staying in the present, and yeah, very very happy that it has turned out this way. So, if anyone speak to your dad, you're South African. Anyone speak to your mum, you're Scottish. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> uh, guys, keen to get back into it, OK? Yeah, obviously, as I said, we had a, a few days off, um, as we do during this international window. So boys go away, refresh, um, encourage them to go away for a few days um, with their partners, get on holiday if they can. And then um, we came back in on Thursday, and we're straight back into intense training Thursday, Friday, and then this week in preparation for Cardiff. What's the message to them now as you go to the business end of the competition? Um, big thing is about how important the next four games are. Mm -hmm. um, the context is different from last year. We don't have a massive cushion like we had last year. 20 points ahead at this time of the season. Um, this year we are second place um, and we're eight points ahead of third place. So we play Cardiff and then we play Connacht who are sort of on our heels behind us. So if we can beat beat them in the next two games then it gives us a really good um, position to get into that second place if not top space. So. Yeah, big, two big games coming up in particular before we go to Zebra. 15 teams and over 200 young players took part in day one of the SP Energy Network's Warriors Championship at Scotsland this week. It was Eastwood High who progressed to the semi-finals and here's a look at the day.
Gordon, you must be delighted with the win today in qualifying. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the, the pupils work really, really hard at school and things, and it's uh, the programme's all about enjoying participation. So to actually come here and uh, play some really good rugby for other good teams, uh, everything playing in good spirit. So yeah, they are absolutely over the moon over. So it's really good. Actually, we've been doing really well, and actually, I think that we're, we're improving every game we go because we're really motivated. And if you were speaking to some friends that don't play rugby, what would you say to try and persuade them to try and play the game? Um, I'd say like most girls would care what people would say because it's like a boys sport but I'd just say it's fun, just come along try it, if you don't like it you don't need to come back but we, I think that you'd really enjoy it. Yeah, like I just love being with my friends and I just love like the sport in general just motivates me and then just the same as her just to know that I can do the sport and it's not just boys that can do it, it just makes me feel good for myself. Sent the girls me for a couple of years now, and uh, it was good that they won all four games because they've, they've got some really good, talented girls in there. Uh, the boys group worked really hard in class at home and stuff, so it's uh, um, good to see them actually coming out here and, and showing off a little bit, which is, which is nice. We, we started a school of rugby three years ago. Um, so when I came back, I started eight years ago. We had it was very little rugby. So over the years, now we've got about 120 boys and girls playing from S1 to kind of S5s or kind of the top end. So uh, we've got lots of participation. So that's what it's all about for me. It's just more playing and uh, enjoying it, learning the values and respect and teamwork and things. That's that's my big message trying to get across to the rugby. So I think it's uh, really encouraged to see all the girls playing, especially alongside the boys. Um, I think it shows that the women's rugby is definitely improving uh, to have girls teams that are involved in tournaments uh, uh, throughout their schools or their clubs or whatever, I think it's very encouraging to see. Yeah. Thanks for watching Warriors HQ. You can listen to a full interview with Kyle Stain on this week's episode of Warriors Weekly. Keep an eye on all of our social channels tomorrow for the team announcement for our game against Cardiff. They'll be with you around midday. And tickets to our next home game at Scotson against Connacht on Friday, the 22nd of February, are on sale now from glasgowarriors.org. Until next week, thanks very much.